Hey. Okay, let's get started with the stream. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm just going to be walking through um, some WebDriver IO test scripts. Specifically, test your login um, is what I'm going to be checking out. So test your login is a website that I put together. Um, and it's a way to help people kind of get started with testing and functional testing for websites in general. So it's just asking you a few things here. And then when you hit click test your login or test my login button, it'll generate a uh, zip file for you to download that has a set of test suites or test scripts ready for you to run. So that's what we're going to look at today. Um, I've got a little bit of a description here. Um, so if you want to read through that, you can. Um, I've got a little privacy page because I feel like people might be a little nervous entering a login URL and everything. Um, so um, yeah, it just kind of talks basically that I don't really do anything with your data. I do have um, some stats on the site just to kind of see what's going on. But aside from that, I don't do anything with the data. It just, yeah, um, this was kind of a fun project for me to work on. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is we are going to be testing the test your login example page. So if I go to example, I've got a page here that um, it's the e address. I don't know why I messed that up. It should be email address, but I messed it up. So oh well. And then the password and the way you can log in. So if you have like an invalid user, uh, user sure that's all messed up. And I hit login. It gives me a little error message, things like that. But if I have a valid user.com with a valid password. I hit login and it tells me I'm logged in. Now this doesn't actually submit a form or anything. This is just completely JavaScript based. Um, so there's nothing secure about this and it doesn't do anything. There's also a registration page, but um, looks like it's not loading for some reason. Uh, there is a forgot your password link, but it doesn't do anything. So this is just what we want to uh, test out. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna copy that login over, over there and I'm gonna I'm gonna mute my phone, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I've got my login URL here. The next thing that I'm going to have is the selector of my username input field, which is this input field, because I need it to fill in the field. Now there is a link here um, on selectors, and this takes you to the WebDriver IO selectors page which is really helpful. It goes through all these different ways you can do a selector. Um, you see you can do uh, class names via CSS. You can do an ID. You can select by text as well. Um, you can use a name attribute. So um, that's what we are actually going to use in this example. And um, so that name, if I do an inspect, is going to be email. So we're gonna have an input with the name of email. So that's gonna be our selector. And we're gonna write this as a CSS selector, which is one of the cool things uh, that's now available in Selenium is the ability to select elements by, their, by a, a CSS selector. So it makes it really um, more familiar for front end devs. So that's that. That's the selector of my username field. Apologies, you can probably hear my son in the background. Um, yeah, he's home and it happens. The, the life of a parent. Um, the next thing is the password field, which is pretty much the same thing. We're just going to do password. So I'm going to copy this, paste it over, and change my name to password. Password. I think I always, always mistype that. Um, yeah, the selector of my password input field is there. And then um, it doesn't matter here if you do a uh, single quote or double quote. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just used to double quotes because that's how you uh, normally do that in HTML with your attributes. Next up, the selector of the login button. So here we have the login button. And if I click it, I see I've got a button. I've got a couple class names on here. There's like a submit. I could use that. I could just go with a, a class of submit. But I'm going to show something else, which is the ability to select an element using uh, text. So there's this login text here, inside of here. And WebDriver IO allows you to say, I want to get a button element that contains the text login. So it's not specifically the text login. That would be just equals. Um, we're going to do a star equals, and that says it contains. And the reason for that is sometimes there's some white space around this element. And with that, um, it won't select it 
perfectly so it won't find it. So I just, I'll just i just use contains. Um, this could be an issue if you have a, another button that has login to our other site or something. So you do wanna be more specific. Um, if you are just trying to come up with something, you can always go to copy and then copy selector. And what that is gonna do is find, it's gonna build a selector that's the least specific but unique um, selector possible. So there's nothing else that's gonna select this. Um, and this is the least specific they can be to say, okay, this is a selector that's only gonna match one element on this page. But that's a pretty long selector. I don't wanna worry about that. So I'm just gonna go with button star equals login. And that's gonna do that. A valid username. So this is gonna be valid at user.com. And the reason for that is I've, let's just uh, view this source let you in on the secret is I just use um, foundation and they have a, 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 yeah, a form email class. Maybe it's, maybe it's foundation, maybe it's not. Anyway, there's a, some sort of form validator and it just checks a couple things that you have to enter an email, you have to do, or you have to enter something. You have to have an actual email address, it has to be a valid email. And then it has to be valid at user.com. That is my uh, very fancy login logic right here. Um, and then the same thing with password. It can't be empty and it has to be at least six characters long. It doesn't matter what I end, what I type in here as my password. It can be anything. Um, this is just a, a really test, simple test page. So I'm going to go with that. And then my password will be Hunter2. Two. Three, two. We're going to go with two. Um, also known as star, 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 star. And then I've just got a non-registered username, so something that's gonna fail. Um, so here, this is gonna fail. And there's more that we could go into this, but um, this is the as basic as I could make it while still being somewhat um, usable, so or somewhat functional, use, useful. So we're gonna hit test my login. It generates a zip file that we've um, got available for download. Okay there and then uh, it was downloaded to my downloads folder and I'll just I'll just leave it there so I'm gonna go into this test your login directory so it my uh, file was there I unzipped it just using simple um, simple double click on the zip file in Mac and it unzips it which is so much better than trying to like download uh, pecan zip or run some crazy thing anyway that's besides the point um, npm install so I need to install the packages so this is going to take a few minutes to install while that is installing I will go ahead and open up sublime text for us to take a look at the tests that were generated and so we've got a few files that are loaded into here we've got a readme file that's going to kind of tell you about everything that's going on it's got your URL there and then your login text and then it talks about how this was made um, how to run the installation, and then usage. And there's also some linting involved, but um, we don't need to worry about that right now. Um, I go through some features as well that uh, somebody might be interested in taking a look at. We are, do have visual regression tests in place for this. And then I talk about the folder structure and how it's integrated with Travis CI, if you have Travis CI set up. So a whole bunch of stuff kind of to help you along the way. Um, that's one thing. There is our configuration file that gets filled out. Here's that URL that we put in there. Um, we don't have it set up to use sauce, but that's something that you could do. Uh, we do have it set to say, I want to only test the spec.js files, and I'm going to ignore these page files, which we'll get to in just a second. We're going to test in Chrome, and we are going to use the Selenium standalone service, which is going to help um, get a Selenium server up and running for us. We could also use Chrome Driver if we wanted to. Um, either one of those would work. I wonder, the thing about Selenium standalone, it's a little bit more flexible, but Chrome Driver is a bit easier to install because you don't have to worry about having Java or anything like that. Okay, so this is installed. Um, Let's go ahead and run our test and then we'll jump into more details as we go. So it goes to our page, enters our E address. Mm. It's just taking screenshots to begin with. And then it enters it, it says that we're logged in. Now we're gonna try to log in with an email address. Now we're gonna try to log in without a valid email. Then we're gonna va valid email, but no um, password. Oh, what do we have here? Those are some fun errors. I swear this was working earlier. Unknown command, session, window, rectangle. Oh, it's trying to take pictures. 
and for some reason it's not able to take those pictures. Set viewport size, window rectangle. Ah, oh, well that's fun. It's fun when the things that you do just don't work at all. Um, well, I'll just work around that. So let's go into our tests. So we have a login.spec.js file and a login.page. We're gonna open both of those and move those side by side. Login.spec. Um, and then you see here it filled out our information. So this is our actual test file. And um, it filled out our information for our valid email, our valid password. Um, this was already there, browser.url. It just goes to that base URL that you provided. Then it's going to take a screenshot, um, browser.check document, and make sure that things are good in it. Um, and it looks like something is going on with this screenshot. Not really sure what's going on there. Um, so we may just comment this out for now. Uh, the next thing it's going to do is run login.login and it's gonna pass in the valid email and the valid password. So this is testing that we've got valid credentials. And so where's this login.login come from? Well, it comes from our login page object. So up at the top of this file, we required login.page.js, and we say stored it as a, a login variable. And then we create a new login page and save that as login. So that's what is referenced here, login, login, that could be whatever you want. Um, the login page object is a simple JavaScript class um, slash object, and it's going to have properties that define different elements on the page, and then it's going to have commands that you can run as well. So we have an email element, a password element, and a submit element, and you can see here's the selector that we added, the input name email, input name password, and the button uh, login. So that's the stuff that we entered and it get, got filled out. And then here's our login command that takes a email and a password value text and it sets the value on this dot email which is this guy and then this dot password which is here sets the value on that and then we click the submit button to log in so that's our our basic login test or login command so we say login login i'm passing in a valid email and a valid password and again if you didn't want to pass that in through the site this would come over as that and then you could just um, fill that in as you wanted to, um, as you wanted to, uh, fill it in with whatever valid credentials you have. Whew. Okay. Then we have an assertion here. We're expecting that login dot is logged in to be true. This is another function that we have in our login page object and it's right here. And, oh, looks like I need to delete that. Don't know why I have that in there. Um, I think that was supposed to be like a, a slash slash example and I just forgot to remove it. So that's one thing that I need to update on here is that example colon whatever isn't working. And um, anyway, what is logged in, it returns a true or false. Um, and this is something that you'll probably wanna update yourself uh, if you, uh, depending on how your um, your situation is right now it just checks that the URL isn't equal to example um, that's not great but um, it's the best that I can do right now <laughs> you're uh, you'd really want to improve this to be something like do am I on a page that has authentication that's behind authentication am I actually on that page is there an element on the page that has my username in like a profile box or something like that it really is, is going to depend on how you have your setup. For us, just to do a quick kind of sanity check, it just says, am I on that page that I was initially on? Uh, basically, did it allow me to at least refresh the page um, and take me somewhere else? Then we're going to say, if I'm not on that page, then this is going to be true. So we're expecting login dot is logged in to be true. And then here we do a screenshot of the page just to kind of make sure things are good. Um, <clears throat> screenshots, let's see if it actually took my screenshot. So here's my test directory. Here's that uh, test file, login page, login spec. Here's the screenshots and in my baseline, you can see it took a single screenshot, but it didn't take any other screenshots, which is kind of Surprising, why would it have taken a single screenshot but not any others? I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why. 
It was supposed to work, but it didn't. Anyway, um, keep going through. We've got some other tests here. We have that pass that um, input. The sorry, that invalid user, invalid email, whatever. Um, okay, um, login dot login. We pass in an invalid user, but a valid password. Um, we could actually pass in just like that if we wanted to, but we'll just pass in a valid password to make sure that the invalid user won't work. Then we do the same thing, except we're expecting logged in to be false. Um, so we're expecting this to come back as false. Then we take a screenshot of the browser again. Then we do it one more time and just saying, if I have a valid email, but a missing password or a bad password, you could also put like a bad password in there, um, that it's also not gonna log you in. And then it's gonna take the screenshots again. Uh, so that is that. Um, I'm gonna actually try running this one more time. Yeah, see, it should be resizing the browser at this point, and it doesn't seem to be doing that, so it's gonna be the same error. Um, let's take a look at that. We've got this um, visual regression service here, and in it, we define a width and a height that we wanna set it to, and it, for some reason, it's not setting that size. I wonder if there's a newer version of WebDriver IO that came out that dropped support for those things. So WebDriver IO 4.8, that should be fine. Eight, oh, might wanna check these dependencies, make sure they're up to date. But um, what I'm gonna do is just skip this test and then comment that out and investigate it later. There we go. So we do have our passing test now that the um, these are edited out. So that's that. Um, some things I want to do to improve, uh, obviously the HTTPS. Um, I want to somehow add like a fill in example. Um, and it would just basically fill in all of this for you. So if nobody, if, if somebody doesn't want to fill in their own stuff, um, they don't have to. Uh, one other thing I want to do is come up with some other login page aside from this contrived, con contrived example and um, actually test that out. So if you have any suggestions on a login page I can try out, um, I guess I could try like Twitter or something and just create a, a dummy account, um, something like that, just to, to try it a little bit more in the uh, real world versus um, just this fake world that I've created for myself. But uh, that's test your login test your log dot in and um, fun little tool that I'm hoping to keep improving over the days. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm gonna with that, I'm gonna call it call it a day. And uh, thank you so much for watching and your inane comments from the peanut gallery. I really do appreciate it, it makes it a lot more fun than just sitting here talking to myself. So um, have a great one.